Hey guys, welcome to Project Zomboid. My name is Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short. And yeah, I have an issue here. I was actually just doing like mundane stuff, reading books and building stuff like that IBC container that you see right now. And then suddenly a helicopter comes. It is like serious stuff, you guys, serious stuff. Um, I originally thought about going out and just taking them out of town, right? But I got a master plan today. Rather than taking them out of town, I'm gonna take them in the middle of the city. Just take them to the middle of the city and try to wipe out my enemies. That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense than what I than just taking them out of town, doesn't it? Because those Woodbury guards are serious. They're gonna they will chew me up. They will fire their guns and kill me. So this is a little uh, Walking Dead inspiration here we're gonna manage the horde we're going to go back in town and try to maneuver the hordes to take out my enemies this makes sense and what's really weird if you notice the zombies aren't really coming towards me it's got to be like a delay of some sort yeah, see, now they're turning. So, like, like a, maybe a five-second delay between them going and them realizing that I'm not... That the helicopter is not in that direction. So, that that's what... I guess this is what the episode's gonna be, depending on how long the hospital... Or the hospital... The uh, helicopter is. We're in town now. We should start to see quite a few zombies... And we're just going to drive around. Just drive around in circles if we can. I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to. We might have to make passes, like larger passes, between the buildings because of the size. I can imagine. See, these zombies are torn. They, should they go where the helicopter is or should they go where the other stuff is? <laughs> Lots of action today. So I'm just going to hang out in my car. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to really do much of anything else. I don't want to... Ah, see, PvP forced on, which means they can shoot me. And I had the presence of mind to actually load up my backpack with thread and a needle, as well as tweezers, just in case I do get shot. There's a good chance I'm going to get shot just driving around. And look at that, man. Look at that. Oh. That poor Woodbury guard. But better her than us. That's what I got to say. Let's come over here. I'm wondering where the governor is. Andrea's all upset. And there's a Woodbury guard. There are quite a few of them. Alright, so the first helicopter event has gone. But I imagine it's going to come back once or twice. Or three times more. We'll see. We'll see. So we've got this. Drive around a little bit more. So the last couple of days have been kind of boring, so I haven't really recorded very much. I did create a IBC container, and um, I'm still looking for a how-to generator book. I figured, you know, that I would wait until the helicopter event came through. Let's see. Up, oh, and they're forcing them out now. God, look at that. Wow, that's so crazy. Well, let's just try not to get shot here. My uh, carpentry is now up to three, or up past four, so I need an advanced carpentry book. And obviously I need the how-to generator, which I'll, I'll start searching for that after this. But yeah, the goal today is to... Make sure that these guards are nice and dead. Come right back around. I did spend some time loading and unloading my gun as well um, to try to get build up my unloading my loading speed, my reloading speed. All right, so now they're in two directions. God bless! Look at that. Well, I won't be going that way. Maybe I'll, I'll take the long route around here. Got plenty of gas. So I'll be able to just continue on. I can outlast this thing. Outlast it. 
So as far as, um, I do have a question for those of you that use Hydrocraft. I actually built this IBC container. It was raining the last couple of days. And as you can see, it's kind of raining now. Um, and I, it filled up and I got a cooking pot and I tried to pour the IBC container into the cooking pot, which strangely enough, it actually added the IBC container to my inventory. So I poured it in there and, you know, it's a tainted water, but it didn't pour all the way in. And is I, I'm not real sure why that is. And not only that, when I looked at my water in the pot, it didn't say tainted either. So I'm not real sure what that means. So if anybody can kind of give me a heads up, give me some information about that, that would be awesome. All right, let's pass, pass through again. Now my fear will be that even though all these Zeds are moving this way, that some of them to the uh, north of us, or I guess that would be the east of us, heard the helicopter, and when I get home, there's going to be a lot of zombies to contend with. Now, I'm not 100% sure that's going to be the, the case, but we'll see. I'm probably going to have to get another car here shortly. Fairly quickly. All right, let's go and check this out. Still firing. They are still moving right along. It's all right, though. Eventually, they're going to run out of bullets. There's just too many. And there she is. Okay, let's move this way. Milton's trying to get in the car. Sorry, Milt. Sorry about you. You shouldn't have been with those guys in the first place, Milton. If you hadn't been with those guys in the first place, you wouldn't be where you are now. All right, the helicopter's back. Wow, look at that. That is a horde, you guys. Is she out of bullets? She might be just reloading. Yeah, she's just reloading. All right, third pass. We're going to go up here. to the top and see how the other guards are faring. I imagine it won't be much better. Right? And they are shooting. Okay. Just back her up here. Well, look at that poor Woodbury citizen. I would say this is this plan is actually working out. Let's let them use all their bullets up. God bless. I mean, how could you stand your ground on something like that? You would think that it would just you would just run. Back her up. Wait a minute, am I bleeding? Why am I bleeding? Oh, shoot. Too busy watching the hordes. I think I, I wasn't paying attention to uh, bleeding my left upper arm. All right, well, I do have a needle and thread. Let's get a little bit further up. I do have a needle and thread as well as tweezers, so... Like I said, I, I knew this this event was coming, and uh, I just planned for it. You never know when you, you're going to need something for this, especially with super survivors, because some of them have guns, and they will mess you up. Let's disinfect her. Philip, I'm sorry, man. You got to just hang out. All right, we're gonna do one more pass. Let's see. Uh, I 
Well, it's going to be... I, I'm going to have to come back here and look at the, all the bodies. Because it was a, a f very hard-fought fight. Let's see where she is. I don't see her. Well, there's no... Uh, uh, they must have clobbered him. They must have got him. That's good. Clobbered him. We're back up here. I uh, hear gunshot still. But she, that this guard is carrying a uh, a bat. She's she's resorting to hand to hand. Nice. Let's see if we can get him to to attack her. She's not firing her gun anymore, so that could be a problem. Whew. Did you see that? Uh, yeah. Maybe they'll maybe they'll finish her off. Well, that feels good, man. It feels good to finally uh, score a win for the home team. See, that's the uh, that police cruiser has uh keys in it but no uh gas so that's where i think that's going to be my next mission is to pick that up because this uh station wagon has had its day and we can grab the generator as well and move this down here connect it make some plans for when the uh, power goes out which it should be going out fairly soon god bless i need to get some food in me moderate damage those guys were no joke, but we took them out. We took them out, you guys. Feels good. All right, so it's been a day or two since we last, uh, since the hel helicopter event, and we are going to go in search of a how-to generator book. I was going to do this beforehand, but I was afraid that, you know, I would be in a house and the helicopter would come and create problems and stuff, and, you know, so I figured, you know, why not? We'll, we'll wait, even if the electricity went out for a day or two, before the helicopter event, so be it, whatever, who cares, right? Uh, so there are some big houses right east of us that we're going to check out. This one is one of them right here. I did bring the teacher along, the badass teacher that I have. And we're going to see if we can find some uh, how-to generator in the advanced carpentry book. It'd be nice to find them both. But, uh, yeah, I'll let her do her business and then here like a little uh, co-stomp <laughs> all right keep the door open maybe somebody might come through who knows yeah see they're coming through it's all right house could be infested just get rid of the bottom floor ones yeah so we hopefully we can find a how-to generator book in an advanced carpentry book i'd sure hate to go back to the bookstore there was no how-to generator book in the uh, bookstore and it's amazing because I have like such good luck finding generators, but not so much so far for that book that will make those generators work. Let's see, Advanced Carpentry, I found it. Nice. Archery book, we'll go ahead and read that. Okay, what about here? How to use generators. Wow, that was quick. Quick and easy. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. It feels good. Maslow's Law in Action. First you find shelter, which we did. Then we start gathering food and water, which we did. We have plenty of food and water. And, uh, yeah. I mean, what more can you ask for? Other than a lot of zombies coming through the trees. <laughs> it's alright. We can handle this. Oh... Yeah, I'm going to need a bat or something. Uh-oh. Did she just get bit? I hope not. She's she's my, my soldier. <laughs> she was an elementary school teacher but in the beforehand, and now she's my soldier. Here we are. We'll take out these guys, too. Wow, mission accomplished. Good job, you guys. Feels good. 
in the neighborhood. So we got two things out of the way. Got the helicopter event out of the way, as well as the how-to generator book and advanced carpentry. We're moving all right along with the carpentry. I'm just not as proficient with blunt weapons. I do not really like blunt weapons. I mean, I do have a axe at home, but I just really don't want to use it. Here we go. Cool. Beta blockers will take. Jackknife I'm going to take. And yeah. Ready to go home? Let's do a medical check on you. Let's see if you can go home, teacher. Or if I'm going to have to abandon you. Scratched. Okay. Well, I'll take my chances with that. You could be a zombie. You might not be, though. A little bit thirsty. I'm going to go ahead and grab my can canteen of water. And I'm a little bit uh, tired. Probably because I'm lugging around another uh, backpack full of stuff. Very nice. Well, I don't know what else I need to do. Got to figure the out the IBC thing for sure. I think the next uh, course of business is to go back into town and pick up that uh, police cruiser. And then, hell, I don't know. Maybe start build, shoring up defenses now that the helicopter is done. It is kind of late. I've been reading a lot. What do I have? Not really hungry. I had to pick up some antidepressants, you guys. I was getting depressed. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, let's read that. The archery book. How to use generators already read. All right, well, I guess I'm done here. This is a short a short and sweet episode. Uh, my name's Drunk on Life. You can call me Drunk for short. And if you like Project Zomboid, you should subscribe to me. Especially if you like watching people plays Project Zomboid, uh, doing those Let's Plays. Um, I do Project Zomboid videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I might end up venturing off into another game. I know I keep telling you, telling you guys that, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen eventually. Uh, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Big thumbs up, like, you know, all that business. Um, and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate you hanging with me. Bye-bye.